tonight we are going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. First, let's look at the slopes of parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same rate of change, so that they have the same or equal slope. Let's try this example. What is the slope of a line parallel to y equals 7x minus 4? Well, parallel lines have the same slope. So, so if our original line has a slope of 7, then that means our new line is also going to have a slope of 7. Now let's talk about the slopes of perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So what this means is you are going to flip the fraction and change the sign. So if our slope is a over b, it's going to be perpendicular to the opposite sign of b over a. Also, if you want to check if two slopes are perpendicular, if you multiply them together and they equal negative 1, then the two lines are going to be perpendicular. Let's look at this example. What is the slope of a line perpendicular to y equals 3 fourths x plus 2? Well, the slope of this line is 3 fourths, so I need to do the opposite reciprocal. So I'm going to flip my fraction, so it'll become 4 over 3, and then since this slope is positive, I'm going to make my slope negative. So our new slope is going to be negative 4 over 3. Now let's look at these examples. If our slope is 2 over 7, what would the parallel slope be and what would the perpendicular slope be? Pause the video and see if you can answer these questions correctly. We know that parallel slopes are the same, so a parallel slope to 2 over 7 is also going to be 2 over 7. Our perpendicular slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal, so I'm going to flip my fraction and change the sign. So my perpendicular slope will be negative 7 over 2. Let's look at the next example. If the slope of a line is 1, then what is the perpendicular slope? Well, let's think about 1 as a fraction. It's going to be 1 over 1. So if I flip the fraction, it's still going to be 1 over 1. And then if I change the sign, it's going to go from positive to negative. So the perpendicular slope to 1 is going to be negative 1. And last, are y equals 1 half x plus 4 and y equals negative 2 x plus 6 parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So the two slopes we are talking about are 1 half and negative 2. Hopefully right away you know that these two are not parallel because 1 half and negative 2 are not equal. Now to check if they are perpendicular, we can multiply them together and if they equal negative 1, then these two lines are perpendicular. So when we multiply 1 half times negative 2, we get negative 1. So that means that these two lines are perpendicular. Now let's discuss vertical and horizontal lines. So horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So a slope of 0 is going to be parallel to a slope of 0. So a horizontal line is going to be parallel to a horizontal line. So if you have a y equals and a y equals, then those two lines are going to be parallel. If you have two undefined slopes, then those two lines are going to be parallel. So a vertical line is going to be parallel to a vertical line. So that means if you have an x equals equation, it's going to be parallel to another x equals equation. And last, a zero slope is perpendicular to an undefined slope because a horizontal line is perpendicular to a vertical line. So a y equals equation is going to be perpendicular to an x equals equation. Let's try this example. Write the equation of a line through point 1, 1 parallel to y equals negative 2x plus 4. Hopefully we know that since we're talking about parallel, our slopes are going to be the same. Because a slope of negative 2 is going to be parallel to a slope of negative 2. Now we have a slope and a point, so we're going to use point slope form. We know that point slope is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So if I plug in what I have, that's y minus 1 equals negative 2 times x plus 1. If I distribute my negative 2, I have y minus 1 equals negative 2x plus 2. Then I need to add 1 to both sides. And so I find my final answer is y equals negative 2x plus 3. So this line, y equals negative 2x plus 3, is going to be parallel to our original line through the point 1, 1. Now let's try this example. Write the equation of a line through point 8, 9 perpendicular to y equals 4x minus 2. Hopefully we are thinking that perpendicular means opposite reciprocal. So if our original slope is 4, that as a fraction is going to be 4 over 1. And so when we do the opposite reciprocal, we're going to have negative 1 over 4. So now we have a point and a slope, so we're going to use point-slope form. 
We know that point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. If we fill in what we know, we have y minus 9 equals negative 1 fourth times x minus 8. If I distribute the negative 1 fourth, then I have y minus 9 equals negative 1 fourth x plus 2. I need to add 9 to both sides. And so I find my final equation, y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 11. So that means that this line, y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 11, is perpendicular to our original line through the point 8, 9. And that's everything I have for this video. See you in class.